Uh, this video is made for those who are preparing for SAT. And this uh, talks about very specifically on the reading section. Since the time it changed in 2016, the SAT has been very heavy on the reading component. Not only the reading, but also the writing and uh, language section is about reading. And even the essay is also about reading. So uh, there is a lot of emphasis and stress on reading. So let's uh, look at some of the aspects of reading and how to do well on SAT reading. First and foremost is um, the section has five passages and um, 52 questions to be answered in 65 minutes. And these five passages uh, comes from uh, one on the U.S. and world literature, and two are from history and social studies, and the remaining two passages are exclusively on the sciences. It can be any science. And uh, approximately about 10 to 11 questions are given per passage. Let's look at um, what exactly the reading uh, section tests, so the abilities. First and foremost thing is um, you have questions on words in context. These are not vocabulary questions that are directly from the dictionary, but um, the answers are often as intended by the author from the context. So this is the reason these are called words in context. We also have questions about command of evidence. Command of evidence is not only you have to answer but also you have to cite the line numbers uh, that form basis for those uh, answers. So you have 10 words in context and the 10 command of evidence and the remaining uh, questions are from social science and uh, analysis of science. And um, the questions are of three categories, information and ideas, rhetoric questions and then synthesis questions and very specific to how to do well on the SAT I'll just give you some general guidelines one is about right practice official guide official material is a must for your practice apart from that you can go to any other publisher but um, the official material is the best material and uh, practicing in time conditions um, is also very important. And the second one is um, the way you read, interpret, evaluate, and um, the steps that you have that takes you towards the accurate answer and understanding the primary goal of what you need. So these are um, very, very important to do that on the reading. So unless you have a proven techniques of um, how to decode, um, how to go stepwise, and then how to understand the big picture of what you're reading, uh, without these abilities, it will become entirely very different and difficult uh, to do well in the reading comprehension of the SAT. And there are always some weaknesses, um, students, um, typically those who are weak on vocabulary uh, should learn how to find uh, context clues available in the passage. And um, finding answers for the detailed questions, people should work on um, how to scan for the keywords and locate the keywords and uh, reading closely. Inference questions are the unwritten things. So again, those are also based on clues only. So <clears throat> you should love to find those clues regarding the author, speaker, characters. And then from there, you can deduce what is unsaid, what is the implicit part of uh, the passage. And there are tone questions look at the choice of words used, positive words, negative words, or sometimes mixed. And main idea is about uh, what 
the author wants us to take away from that passage. We have to ask this question and relate to that so that you will get the main idea. And um, diction, syntax, construction questions are all about um, determining the author's uh, options in shaping a particular message uh, that he's trying to put it across. Uh, and um, other important aspects are uh, there is going to be only one correct answer and four out of four, the remaining three answer choices are very easy to spot. It may be, you know, those answer choices may be having the same or really relevant words used in the options, but they may mean something very, very drastically different from the context or what the question is asking. Or sometimes um, you'll find uh, qualifying words uh, that makes the answer choices either too broad or too narrow. So you should uh, avoid them like plague uh, and then work on um, your uh, reading practices. Uh, some students read the question and then go to the passage or some of them read quickly once and then in detail. So whatever works best, you need to figure it out by uh, practicing. And then um, I think uh, the bubble sheet, um, we recommend that you transfer your answers all together. That will take um, the least amount of time than um, transferring answer one after the other uh, would take. Uh, and then uh, keep calm, that's very important. And um, so skip the difficult questions and come back and check it, depending upon your time. But don't spend too long on any particular question uh, because uh, that time can be used for answering very confidently some of the other types of questions. And then the most important one is uh, having a mentor and guide will be very useful because we find that uh, sad students are very busy with their uh, curriculum and their ongoing uh, uh, academic work. So some guidance, some mentorship would definitely help you to exceed your potential. And um, at Y-Axis, we have proven methods, proven results. We have very, very high scoring uh, success rates for students from all over India. And uh, this is what we do. We follow the material that is recommended by college board. And we provide a very comprehensive 60 hour program. And then uh, we provide you with all the necessary skills from foundation to very high school. And um, you can talk to us, you can attend the demo, and also there are many options. Uh, you can attend during weekdays or weekends, or even uh, you can ask uh, a very customized uh, program like only Quant, only Verbal, only Essay. Uh, and you can determine how many classes you want, and we can provide you the necessary guidance. Um, as for your requirement. So thank you for your interest on this set and for your time for this video. Bye-bye.